anyone who pops in. So today I am doing one of my favourite side quests in Cyberpunk 2077. This one is called Cinnamon and it starts off basically with you saying okay you've got to go and um, do this hit job. So we're going to find out what it is and the only way to find out is Here to we are. sit down and yes, wait. I just gotta wait. Okay. Now, although I am streaming this, um, I will probably be putting, well, definitely be putting this on YouTube later. So that's why I am doing the walkthrough now when obviously no one's watching me at this point. Wakako sent me. I, is that the Okada lady? Did she tell you how this is supposed to happen? Didn't go into a whole lot of detail, no. Joshua Stevenson. Oh. You and me are gonna give that murdering fuck what he deserves. I'll tell you more inside. We got Get to turn the sound off driving. on the TV. <laughs> Alright. Now ignore the fact that I am crap at driving this behemoth. Okay, and that's another one of the little whoopsies that they this have. Street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead? Why, exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get out of jail free card over my dead fucking body. Wait, what? Stevenson won't be alone. Important question. Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Nothing to do but wait, then. What's your name? I have to agree, it does sound half-baked, but... V. Let me tell you something, V. That sack of filth took the life of someone I loved. I can't live with the thought that he... There they are! Step on it! This thing does not steer well. Okay, random car away. turning upside. Whoopsie. Doesn't help when you have people breaking road rules. Literally, I'm doing that too. Whoa. At least I managed not to actually wipe that guy out. Which is good, because I don't want to wipe Watch people out. out. Unlike apparently everyone else. So, interesting. Street lights were halfway up in the air. So hopefully, I can't lose him. I get too many more people trying to kill me by driving badly. Sudden change from night to day. Pretty really sure that doesn't happen that way in real life, but hey. What's that? Well, I didn't hit him. I think that's pretty well done. This thing does not take corners well. Which is probably not surprising considering that it's a use. Here we go. I couldn't have actually used Stop the damn car. This. Fuck! Break! I said, break. I did break. Let's go. Stay close. I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him. NCPD, stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! 
You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the girl, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right! Let's just all shoot holes at each other. <laughs> Leave her here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD, stay where you are and get that goddamn semi out of here. not standard trucky behavior we when people start us. shooting. What? If you getting the hell out of there before we got told to. Somebody just tried to drop our star. That psycho's out hiring professionals. It was only a matter of time. Because he's a fucking nutcase, Gregor, that's why. Busted an attempted what hit cunt. on my guy. Yeah, one cash. Bill Jablonski. No priors. But run a deep sweep just to be sure. And I wouldn't call Thanks. him a psycho. I owe you. No patrol car. And stay off the frequencies too. Can't have this coming back. This. This. What a oh. fucking mess. Told you to drop you want me to come, to come with you? Listen. You fucking listen. I need you. We're clear to go. You're out of your Boys fucking the mind. Will mop up here. Hey, another word from you and I am calling the studio. Another glitch. Don't make me ruin your career. Nobody, and I mean nobody, will harm a hair on your head. I'm just, uh, borrowing you. What the hell is this? What's your name? V. Josh Stevenson. But you probably your associate. What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell. Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take her. Out of the question. She's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give her a job. Well, I'm obviously um, making a bit of a name for myself. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object strongly. Noted. But you don't have a phone here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. I'm gonna go with All them, right. but if Johnny I'll thinks that that's gonna put me Move it. off We're walking away... <laughs> Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Could say that? Yes. Sure. Then you will understand exactly what I'm trying to do. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, I you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before... <clears throat> ...frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. Spelling mistakes you can correct, but murder's murder. You can make amends to the families. You can lead others away from the path of darkness. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. You don't like Rachel? She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high-value asset. 
You're the one I want to talk to. So if you say about Vasquez, you say that um, if he, if you put a dog treat, don't put a dog treat in front of his nose, he'd probably talk. V? Just till the end of the okay. day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong. I'm out. No one will force you to stay. I hadn't done the Rachel option last We're last time, so I thought ours. we'd find out what she'd say. Give me a moment. I need to prepare. Basically, found religion from the looks of it. At this point, Vasquez, keep no real idea me. if it's genuine or not, but we will find out more as we go along. A tight schedule. Rachel does seem to be pretty much the typical corpo rat trying to scramble her way up the rung. Whereas this guy is just weird. Vasquez seems okay for a cop You're in this game. Late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? She is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleka. Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told her anything? <laughs> we just met. No, not really. There wasn't time. You really are insane. Um, Mama yes. isn't. I think that yet. one is definite. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! That answers that question. No, he doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Okay. Now, normally when I wander into someone's house, I do what Please, everyone does in down. these sorts of games, and I loot the place. I'm not going to do that Can I offer time. you anything? Uh, a drink? A uh, glass of water. Please. Apparently I forgot my manners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Okay. Mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on earth, and neither should ours. After she's gone to all that trouble to give me the water, not every day you run into a true believer in Night City. It was Providence that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Sure, I believe. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no. I never agreed to anything like this. Oh, let's finish off this water. I'm all ears. Joshua, he... 
He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. Does kind of go into the whole... I still don't get what's happening here. Nut job Zuleika. thing. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page five. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? Hmm? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindown Studio Vultures record his agony as he's being crucified. Why the brain dance? What's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid Making one big assumption like there. You, v. Have that you people know love? are Do you know what it growing is? up in poor areas that they don't know love? It's not how it works. Mother is home. Joshua because you're Stevenson. poor doesn't mean to say your parents we don't love you. Again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, now! Just go, please. Out! All of you! We should leave. Really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay. Just go! You took my Reuben from me! My child! My son! I am definitely leaving. Let's go back I to gone the, out the wrong. Yeah, I've gone out the bloody wrong door. Complete lack of direction. This is certainly not one of the um, more salubrious areas of town. You know, after all, there's things about love and you know, poor areas and so on. She obviously loved her son. So yes, people do love. I think he's lost sight of a few things there. Oh, come on guys. Ah, there we go, movement. Just wish I could have oh, I know my driving's talked, bad, but it's not exactly explained everything. wonderful by him either. But somehow I thought... I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we? Uh, Pi Z. They do a great cup of coffee. I'm gonna kill her cheesecake at Pi Z. I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream then? How well do you know the city? Can't know Night City well, ever. It's always changing. It was surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm. <laughs> True that. I've made some different choices this time from last time, so it's going to be interesting to see if I end up with the same result. So, 
basically this guy here may well ask me to come and help him later with his crucifixion that we just learnt about. But that comes up as a little quest a bit later. You can't just do this bit and then move straight on to the next bit unfortunately. Like most things in this game there's a pause while other other shit happens and then Take you get a phone inside, call from whoever. All a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Yeah, that'll be me. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly, but it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity, and that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Ah, sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm, and one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. Uh, no, not gonna my do answer's it. answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. He's coming too. Let's go inside. Again, now that I've said it, it's thinking about not coming. Not bad for a petty merc off the streets. Corpo rats. Think they can solve everything with eddies. And you proved her wrong. Just don't make her desperate. She's liable to bite back. Oh, oh. oh, I see we did the um, typical parking out in the middle of the parking lot, nowhere near any of the actual parking bays. Well done, people. I've seen every kind of dirtbag in this city. This Jesus shit ain't fooling me. You even think about making a break for it, your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Okay, can't do that one, unfortunately. This brain dance. Right, let's find out about this. Curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long, we can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run up to the finale with BD doubles and Umobank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How is that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM, infinite investment in tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why, Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. And you? Got any say in all this? We forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. They'd originally opted for John. Mm, yes, that's important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. So what is it you want to convey exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. 
Relax, Rachel. Yes, why? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to it? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Great to have an outlet. Something to give you peace of mind. True peace of mind can only come through the spirit of divine grace. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Tell you exactly why. No, I, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. <laughs> Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel... No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Well, it's been an interesting day. I didn't actually get a meal in the end. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you mean? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Your cynicism starting wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Pretty the much. rebel Johnny? Seem to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind. Which is it, nut job or messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, <laughs> that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists. Fuck. Kill me, please. <laughs> Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Truth is, I died and rose again. Leaning some. Uh huh. So what was that? A miracle? What's it make? Temporary a miracle. Phoenix or a factory restored. Considering I'm now dying arch. again. I have no fucking idea what it was, and neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. Mm -hmm. And he's you'd lighting up again. Execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You dropped to your knees before the gods. I dropped them. Pop them right between the eyes. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche? Possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead? Or alive till the last existing digi ghost of you is shredded? Meaning, like, am I gonna ascend to digi heaven? Descent to digi hell's more likely, but yeah. If there is life after death, is Silverhand already living the afterlife? Meaning, I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise! To me, I'm just that. Me. No nether world, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psychic. Oh, weird as fuck. Oh. It's kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. Well, that was definitely. One of the weirder things. So they've gone. So my next quest that I want to do is go and see Pan Am and try out the this interesting will new. I will wait where yeah, we you met can wait. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Okay, let's have a quick look at 
Meh. Ah. Last travel point. Pretty much across the road from the looks of it. A closer look at that map. on the same side of the road as I was already on. Duh. Okay, let's go and have a look at this new machine. Oh. It's gonna change me blooming quest line again. Right, let's have another go at this. Back out to the old Akado's camp and have a look at this basilisk that they've been building. In so my last session I picked up the basilisk with the Pan Am and her friends and now it's time to go and have a look at the finished item. Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. So, it does actually look pretty cool. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if <laughs> Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a <laughs> bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. I have to say that does sound like, like a really good way to do it. Tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Be interesting to see if in Seoul. What about him? He actually finds something Nothing to eat. For now, we're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council. Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Because yeah, that was oh, the last thing he to was take talking one of these about. Suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Yeah. Everything is set. There he goes, Johnny. <laughs> Let us get in. And her foot goes right through the seat. Well done. <laughs> All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. It does look pretty cool. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. <laughs> uh, yep, that's it. You oh, need to hit it. Yes! Anything like that, you need to hit it before it'll work. Everyone knows that. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. Yeah, if it was the Raiders model, they wouldn't have been sending it off overseas. What do you think? Used by um, some third world country. Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What? No knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? <laughs> no. Then I trust you. Uh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? 
Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If right. you want full functionality, drive this along. You need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Did it make it's sense? Oddly pleasant. You'll see. moment I can't do anything I just long for the ride a dry run first I'll disconnect for now doesn't need two pilots you won't be steering and firing are you ready oh, yeah of course Pan Am is this a uh, as designed neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers it'll be over soon there See? Okay. Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Same as a boat. Hmm? She'll fly right over any bumps. I'll do All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before okay. the last of them. All right. Let's see if we can do this without hitting anything. Left. Very good. Keep her going. Yes, the little that's indicator the way to show do you it. which way you're going. She's a little bit late when she tells you when to go like right or left. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. Okay. Oh, I've got that sneeze coming again. I don't have a mute button on this thing, so if I do sneeze, you're just going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. On the menu. Sorry. Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those wrecks. Good. They're deader than dirt now. Bullseye. Okay. Practice is over. Done. Good. Now I'm going to connect. Could feel strange. And my hands Meaning are clipping through Basilisk my jacket. Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. This will get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback. Sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now.
part of the military plan takes them. Is everything yeah. just got just head pissed off? It's time to talk. Okay, let's park her up. And get chewed out by Saul. Get to pick up all the shit that they dropped over there. Must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Yeah, let's just ignore all that for a minute and just see if we can pick up all the stuff because I need more money. I had to buy a respec thing before, which was kind of expensive. So I want to pick up all these shit so I can go sell it later. few of them. Alright, so it looks like Saul's still yakking. He's being a bit more conciliatory than normal. Come on. Oh, it's not let me pick that one up. One thing I've noticed a few times actually. I won't actually let you pick everything up sometimes, which is annoying. Like I'm having a bit of a glitch again. It's going the wrong way. There we go. I'm sorry, I missed all that chit chat that they were doing, but I picked up a lot of guns, so I'm happy about that. An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Oh, looks like my relic is um, acting up a bit. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. You no, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me all the countdowns. Always. <laughs> Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Oh, another little movement clutch. Beer? Lemonade? Alright with lemonade. Suit yourself. Considering the fact that I've got a system that's basically fucking itself up, I think lemonade is probably endings. a better option. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. That is true. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Yeah, Stay look in around, camp. she says, but it won't be me. <laughs> I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But yep. I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. Yeah, things involved. All right, v. Hopefully, getting me I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I yep, and there goes that relic malfunctioning. So, Me? not exactly great when you pass out in the middle of camp. <laughs> Pan Am, I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, then... 
Certainly. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. Ah, there he is. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Nope. Pan Am. Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not. It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I could tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Constructs more like a cancer growing every day. You were not joking. <sighs> Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. No. But you're not leaving not us already, ready, are you? Because I Is everything okay? Him. Get... What? You deaf? Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, not much they can do us. at the moment. Uh, got rid of that mirror thing. Want me to walk with you? I have to say, Pan Am is actually one of the better characters in this. I know this area. There's a lot of really Back good ones. I mean, I really, really like safe Jackie. Here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. He and our vantage points but, uh, really are much hey, better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. Pan Am is actually someone that you can you feel you actually get to know her. Done quite a good job on some of the character development. But you know everything here. It is temporary, all of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. So, should just have a quick look at our whoops, wrong button, and look quick look at our map. I can't remember where we were before, but it certainly wasn't over there. I only have. A few more jobs to do. Okay, so we've got crime one. Yep. There's only a couple of crime ones to do. One thing I actually want to do is get all the, the jobs finished in a couple of the areas. That's what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? 
Thanks, Pan Am. Like my um, construct is still throwing a bit of a wobbly there. Not actually allowing me to scan things properly this time. Well, let's have a quick look at our map. Uh, Ripper Dock. Yeah, let's go pay a visit to the Ripper Dock and see what they've got. Probably not much better than what I've already got. Once we've done that, we will leave it there for the day, I think. It's heading for time to go to sleep here. Wanna get myself chipped. Let's see what we got. Straight to the point. I like it. Okay. Not interested in that. Hasn't got anything better than what I've already got. Circular tree system, what have we got? Nothing better than what I've already got that I can actually use. I need more body. And I've put most of my points into um, IQ. Uh, let's have a little look at these guys. Nope. Uh, need more reflex. Okay. More body. Probably not going to have anything better than that. No, he doesn't. Oh, goody, we can replace that. Let's increase our health by 30%. That's good. I don't think we need to do anything with our hands. Nope. Everything we've already got is better than that. Same with that. Don't use the mono wire very often anyway. And I'm fine with the fortified ankles. So that's all done. So time to save. Oh, hey, it's Rachel. The uh, passion project BD. Oh yeah. What's up? We've got a crisis on our hands. Could really use your help. Stevenson's had a breakdown. Nothing any shrink can do about it. Can you come here to the studio just to talk to him? Fine. Sure. On my way. She said she'll come. Okay. Thanks, B. So, next, uh, next time I do this, I will go on to that particular quest. But it is too late in the evening here, it's just after 10 o'clock, so um, I'm going to save and exit at this point, and um, yep, next time we'll do that. And you can see how the rest of that quest goes. So have a good night everyone, and we will see you tomorrow.